Hello folks, welcome to today's demonstration video of my eShop project. In this video, I'm going to explain about the shopping cart, product adding and weaving process. So without further ado, let's get into this. As you can see, our shopping cart is still empty. Let's click on this button to start shopping. As you can see, it takes us to the home page. Let's add this iPhone 12 to our shopping cart. Alright, now we are getting a success alert like this. Let's go to our shopping cart to see whether if it is true or not. Alright, now we can see that product inside of our shopping cart like this. As you can see, it is showing all the details of the product correctly. We can even see the correct product image here like this. So that's all about it, let's get into code inside of things. Now I'm going to VS code as you can see. I'm currently weaving card.php file as you can see. From here I'm requiring connection.php file to establish the connection with our database. These session codes are checking out whether a user is signed in or not. If a user was signed in, we are keeping their email address like this. If the user wasn't signed in, this is giving a response as please sign in or sign up first. This search query is searching inside card table to find out are there any entries inside of it made with that user's email address. If there were no entries inside the relation, this page is showing this empty view. But if there were entries inside of that relation, these codes are showing those products that were added to the cart. Alright, let's see our home.php file. When clicking on the add to cart button of a product, it is calling a JS function like this. As you can see, name of that JS function is add to shopping cart. When calling that JS function, this is also passing the ID of that product to. Alright, let's go to our script.js file. You can see our JS function add to shopping cart here like this. We are also grabbing the past product ID from here like this. Then from here I am creating a new XML HTTP request. I am creating this to request from the add to cart process.php side. Then this already state change is here to figure out the current state of our request. If the ready state is for this is alerting the response text coming from the add to cart process.php side. Then from here we are sending our request to add to cart process.php side like this. As you can see we are using the get method. Alright, let's see add to cart process.php file. On top of this PHP script, I am starting the session like this. Then from here, I am requiring connection.php file to establish the connection with our database. These session codes are checking out whether a user is signed in or not. If a user was signed in, we are keeping their email address like this. If the user wasn't signed in, this is giving a response as please log in or sign up. Then these codes are checking out whether a product ID is coming or not. If a product ID came, we are keeping it like this. If product ID didn't come somehow, this is giving a response as something went wrong. Then this search query is searching our card relation for entries with that product ID and that user's email address. If that product was already in our cart, when clicking on add to cart button, these codes are updating the quantity. If 
if it wasn't in the cart these codes are adding the product to the cart if the addition process was successful this is giving a response as a new product was added to the cart so folks that's all i have to explain in this video stay tuned for the next one see ya